I'm going to do an in-depth tutorial today on how to cream contour, where to put it, how to fix it, um, what to do if it's getting crazy, just little tips and tricks that I've learned from doing it all the way and maybe make it seem a little less scary for some of you who don't do this very often. So if you wanna see how to get a very chiseled but not like drag queen crazy cream contour, then go ahead and keep on watching. So I'm just gonna start out by saying the things you definitely don't have to cream contour by any means, but sometimes it's really fun and if you're going on a night out or if you need your makeup to last for a really long time, then doing a cream contour before um, setting it with powder is really gonna make that look last all day long. So if you have like a wedding to go to or something, or maybe you're a bride and just wanna do your own makeup but need a little help, um, these tips and tricks will definitely help you along the way. I'm just gonna start out by doing my foundation. This is one of my favorites. This is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I'm just gonna dot this all over my face as per usual. And I already have my brows on. Um, and some people even do their cream contour like underneath their foundation, which you can definitely do. I don't really ever do that because I like, I like how it looks on top of it, but you can definitely go lower. So yeah, you're just gonna go in like normal and start blending in your foundation. Next, we're just gonna go right into the cream contour. Today, I'm gonna be going in with the Anastasia Fawn just because I am more fair. The main thing about cream contour is making sure that you're placing it in the right spot on your face. You don't wanna do it too low, cause then it's just gonna look weird and you're gonna, cause basically contouring is changing the shape of your face, like adding shadows to make it look skinnier or brightness to where it looks, you know, to draw light in. So what I always do, I already have pretty defined cheekbones, so it's easier for me. But if you don't, you want to look where the hollow of your cheek is. So if you went like this, and kind of like, you can follow that line back. And normally what I find is this inner part, the tragus of your ear, this piece right here, it's starting right here. That leads into the hollow of your cheek. Now I think the number one mistake people do is putting it too low. And whenever you find that hollow, you don't want to draw directly into the hollow, you kind of want to go above it because basically what you're going to do is whenever you're blending it out, you're going to be going in circular motions and it's going to naturally drag it down. So if you already start a little lower, by the time you blend it down, it's going to be too low. So I find the hollow of my cheek right by my tragus and then I start and I go on that cheekbone on the top side of my cheekbone. And then I'll do like a little up here, a little up here. Uh, I don't have a very big forehead, so if you did, you could definitely take it a little bit lower. Uh, and I'll do the same thing over here. I find the tragus, the hole, and then just a little bit on top. Then you can kind of see, pretty equal. So yeah, on the top of your cheekbone, and you can feel it whenever you're doing it. So then what you're gonna do, you start at the top, and um, what I like to do is start going in circular motions up and down that line that I drew, drawing it backwards and kind of trying to stay in like the same place that you originally put it. Like you don't want to drag it too far down and you don't want to bring it like too forward. So see how I'm like blending upwards and staying on that cheekbone line. I'm not like blending it down here. And don't worry, I know this looks a little harsh, but we're definitely going to um, blend it out. The main thing also, besides making sure you put it in the right spot with cream contour is making sure you blend, blend, blend. Like you gotta take your time, get it back into your ear so you don't have like a harsh line and you're blending it out. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same thing up here. You just wanna take it in circular motions, blending it all around your face. Bringing it forward and circular motions. Okay, now if you run into a situation over here, see how this is a little bit more harsh than this? I think there was leftover product on the brush. You can take the end of your beauty blender and just hit that bottom line of where that is. And then I'll go in with my concealer and just add that like I normally do. And I am going to cream contour my nose, but I'm gonna do it after concealer. 
Okay, so you add your concealer and then you're going to blend it out as normal. Ugh, I just hit myself in the face. <laughs> Now that my concealer is all blended in, I could go back in and maybe add some more if I want to darken it up just a little bit. It's always better to start lighter and add more layers on top of it than going in with something really intense in the first place and having to backtrack and fix it. Like that can just get complicated really fast. So I'm just gonna add just a little bit, again, starting at the top. And go back in and do that same thing. Circular motions. It's really, honestly, it's really easy, I think, because it's more associated with like stage makeup and, um, you know, uh, not, not art, what am I trying to say? It's more associated with maybe, I don't know, photo shoots and Hollywood and that kind of makeup. People think that it's harder than it is, but it's honestly not. Like it's that first initial putting down the product and swiping it on, um, that's the hardest part to do. Now also another thing you can do if for whatever reason, I don't think that I took it too low personally, but if you feel like you accidentally took it too low and you're like, oh crap, it's making me look like I just have shadows on all sides of my faces, you can take your concealer um, and add like a little line right underneath it and take your beauty blender um, or sponge or whatever and blend that downwards. Now, if you're doing this to try and fix something that you've done, drag it out in like a line and drag it down. You don't wanna cover up that contour that you've already done. Like I just did, see? I shouldn't have done that. You just go back in with your brush and whatever and kind of blend it out. That way that line gets blurred a little bit. You just don't want anything to be too harsh. And so this like kind of cleans it up a little bit. Now for the nose, this is something that I'm not very good at. I'm definitely not nowhere near an expert on nose contouring. I feel like there's so many better people on the internet for this than me, but we're gonna try. But what I'm gonna do is just to add some like definition and make it look a little bit more glam, I'm gonna take, follow this like ridge right here where my eyebrow bone is and follow it down and add like a little line like that, a little line. That was kind of a big line. When you do like this, it's gonna make your nose look like very uppity. Uppity is the wrong word. Uh, and for this, I'm gonna blend it in solely with my beauty blender just to absorb some of that product. And I'm gonna squeeze a beauty blender like this so I can get it in that exact area. And then again, you can take that and kind of add the color to the size of your nose if you want to go back in, deepen up a little bit. That's pretty much as good as this nose contour is going to get. <laughs> uh, the next thing that you have to remember with cream contour is to set it. So any part that you put down a cream, you're going to need to put down a powder. So I always start with my under eyes and I'm just gonna add some powder underneath there. And then you also need to set your cream contour. So I'm going to use my contour kit here. I would recommend using like a cooler tone shade like this. What is this? This is the shade Princess Cut. Um, just because for contour, that's the kind of shade that you want. And go in with like a light hand because you don't want it to look too intense. And just blend it in those exact same spots that you would put the cream contour. And then I always like to go in with a bronzer on top of it. I'm going to use the shade Crown, which is a bit more of an intense bronzer, but it has this really pretty um, iridescence to it that I think looks really nice. And this is just gonna add some warmth to that really cool shade. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup off camera and I'll be right back. So now I've got my blush and highlighter on and now I'm just gonna go in and set that nose contour a little bit more to define it. I'm gonna make sure that I use the cool tone for this one. This is Princess Cut, just cause a warm tone will look really funny on your face if that's what you use for your nose. Tap that excess off so like I barely have any product cause this can be really pigmented. 
and I'm gonna be so light and then I'm gonna have to blend it out regardless. And then I just blend it out. That's a really easily blendable contour kit, which I think is a big piece, making sure that you have good quality products, which you can totally get, you can get contour products from the drugstore. So yeah, now that that's nice and blended out, my last step, I'm gonna go in, I had already put highlighter like on the tips of my cheekbones, but I am going to go in with like a really precise brush and add it down the center of my nose. And then why not, I'll add some in my inner corner just to bring some brightness. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up everything else and then I'll be right back. So this is the final look. And as you can see, even though we have on a lot of product, it doesn't look too intense or too sharp or like you're wearing a ton of makeup. Uh, it actually looks just very pretty and like you've just really got nice clean cheekbones, which is what we all want. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'd love it if you would subscribe and come back and watch all my videos. And if you want to see more videos like this, then let me know in the comments or anything else you guys want to know how to do. Uh, let me know. I appreciate you watching. Thanks. Bye.